To get us a better understanding of what we mean by mole fraction, let's do another example. In this example, we're going to find the mole fraction of water in a solution when 13.8 grams of sodium chloride is dissolved in 132 milliliters of water. And remember, the definition of mole fraction is the number of moles of the solute divided by the number of moles of the total solution. Not the solvent, but the total solution. So what we need to do is find out what the molar mass is of sodium chloride and then find how many moles this represents. And then we have to find out how many moles 132 milliliters of water is and then come up with the fraction. So let's start with the number of moles of water. So the number of moles of water is equal to Okay, we need the mass of the water. Now they give us 132 milliliters, and we can say that 132 milliliters of water is very close to 132 grams of water. So let's take that as 132 grams of H2O, and we divide that by the molar mass, the number of grams per mole that, that will give us the number of moles of water. So the number of moles per gram, or number of grams per mole is, uh, well, water is H2O, so oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1 times 2, that's a total of 18 grams per mole. That's called the molar mass of, the, of uh, water. And so that is equal to, well, what's 132 divided by 18? It's 7.33, 7.33 moles. So that's the number of moles that we have in the solution, right? Now we need to know the number of moles of the sodium chloride. So the number of moles of sodium chloride is equal to, well, they give us again the mass. So that's 13.8 grams of uh, sodium chloride. Now we have to divide it by the molar mass of sodium chloride. Well, let's see here. The molar mass of sodium chloride, it's 23 grams per mole of sodium and 30. 5.45 grams uh, per mole for chlorine. If we add that together, that gives us 58.45. So 58.45 58 grams per mole. Again, notice that grams cancel out. Divide by 1 over mole, we end up with moles. And so how much is that? 13.8 divided by 58.45. That's 0 0.236, 0 0.236 moles uh, of sodium chloride. Now we're ready to find the mole fraction. Now we're finding the mole fraction of water. So therefore, the mole fraction is equal to the number of moles of the water divided by the number of moles of the solution, which is the sum of all the moles of the sol solvent and the solute combined. So that would be the number of moles of the water, which is 7.33 moles, divided by the sum of the two, 7.33 moles, which is the number of moles of water, plus 0 0.236 moles, which is the number of moles of sodium chloride. So plus 7.333 equals, K. Okay, we take the inverse of that, and times, uh, 7.333 equals, and it looks like it's about 0 0.969, and that's the fraction. So that means it's the mole fraction of water to the whole solution. So 96.9% .9 of all the moles in the solution are water, and the rest of it, a small percentage of, less than one, ooh, less than, no, it's almost 3%, isn't it? 3.1%. Oh, yes. So about 3.1% of the moles in there are sodium chloride. Hmm, that's the way to look at it. So let me write that out. So based on the number of moles, we can say that 96.9%, 96.9% is water, and 3.1% is sodium chloride. This is not by mass not by volume, but by number of moles. And that's why we call it mole fraction. The mole fraction of water to the sol total solution, 0.969, or 96.9% .9 of all the moles in the solution are water. That's how you look at that. That's what mole fraction means.